Hi, hey, girls. Well, hello. Come on down. You're going to get me all dirty again today? You're going to get me all dirty again today? It says life on the farm. Oh, let me get it focused better. It says life on the farm. Oh, that still looks. There you go. This is Life on the Farm YouTube, and then it's got the animals. We've got the pig, the chicken, the turkey, and the uh, goat. And if you'd like to purchase one, um, I will link my email down below, and you can send a message to my email, and I'll get back with you. Bob's getting ready to be hoisted up to put the stuff on for the door, the tracking for the door. Gotta put that on before you can. Good morning and welcome back to Life on the Farm. Welcome if you're new. Today is August 2nd. I'm letting the animals out for the morning before I head to work. We did get the, some of the pickles canned. We made some dill pickles. And then we also made some bread and butter pickles. Still have quite a few to do. Let's see. Hi, girls. Well, hello. Come on down. You're gonna get me all dirty again today? You're gonna get me all dirty again today? Yeah? That's okay. You wanna get me dirty too? Okay, let's get them some fresh food because this got rained in. We finally had a little bit of rain. You guys are just too cute. You gonna kiss the camera? You kissing the camera all over? I have a minute. Okay, move your head. Move your head. Come on. Somehow we get to get Shirley to start liking us a little bit more. Oh, she's letting me pet her while she eats. That's a good sign. Because we need to direct her to some milking stanchions. When she is age and has a baby. So Bob did install the water line. And I must not have hit record because when I went to go download the footage on the one I'm uploading now, it's not there. So I will show you. Let's see if the light changes. Because I've got to turn on the quail water. Okay, so we got the water line installed. It goes from our house to the pole barn. This one is for the quail. I'll show you the area. You can see it goes from the house, all that dirt over there, under and over. And then, I'm not sure where he put the panelings. 
Oh. We're going to put clear panelings up there so we get more light in here. And he got those the other day. That looks green to me. Oh, it's just covering up one of the clear ones. The clear ones are right there. And then, uh, and then after that, all we have is the doors, and then it'll be dried in. So, we started this pool barn August 7th, which, it's almost August 7th. It's almost one year since his dad passed away. And it's been a hard week. For me, anyway. We went and we seen his grave on Sunday. And then, uh... And then, um, when I was downloading the video, I was going back through what we had. We did put his hat up. His hat's at the post where he passed away at. It's just hard. I broke down. Started watching the video. When we first started building the barn. It's going to be hard. <laughs> Every time I look at it, I think of him. Well, I think of him all the time, but... I really wish he was here to watch Eloise grow up. But God needed him. Good morning. It is currently 7 a.m. Saturday. And me and my mom are getting ready to get the vegetables out of the garden and then weed. Um, we had quite a bit of rain the last couple days, so we haven't had to water, which has been a nice, nice thing. But, yeah, our plants are in need of attention and in need of getting the vegetables off. I also made a top. My mom's got one. It says... Life on the farm. Oh, let me get it focused better. This is Life on the Farm YouTube, and then it's got the animals. We've got the pig, the chicken, the turkey, and the uh, goat. And if you'd like to purchase one, um, I will link my email down below, and you can send a message to my email, and I'll get back with you. They're going to be twenty-five dollars. And we're going to get started. I'm just gonna... My mom was out here a couple days ago. And we have some hellacious zucchini out here. That needs to be picked. So we're going to get started doing that. <coughs> oh, Crystal. Hey, Look at what the rain did with the eggplant, man. That's really... Come over here. Oh, my. Oh, my. Come over here and lift this one. <laughs> You can't lift it? No. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I don't even think this is going to fit in the big basket. Look at that. This is our hall. <laughs> See from our gloves off. From the garden. We did get some cherry tomatoes too. So time to start canning and freezing. We are headed to the pole barn Sunday morning, August 7th, to go honor Russ. He used to bring us coffees every time he came over. So, Bob went to McDonald's and got us our coffees and got one for Russ. And we're going to go celebrate them. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Hey, turkeys. 
and my turkey quit setting on the eggs and nothing hatched. Park this over here in the shade. I seen the thing and I seen green. I'm like, they didn't give you clear. Green on top and bottom. I'm not sure how much of this coffee I'll be able to drink. But you can put it over by this hole. Well, it's been a year. One year. I right. yeah, miss you a lot. Boy, can I get around there? Looks like it. Yeah, he's missed every day. Yep, sure is. He would have loved to see the burn done. Well, almost done. He wanted Bob to do this so bad for a couple of years. And now it's almost done, Russ. Here's to you. Yep. Another day of canning. We are making hamburger style pickles, dill pickles. We've got them in the jar. And then we're making the dill pickle spears, which are right here. I'm trying out a new thing this year. I am actually trying. We um, sliced everything up last night, layered it in pickling salt to pull out all the juices to try and see if after we water bath them, they stay crispy. Because we're not really into the soggy pickles. So we're hoping this works. Um, and we've got the brine going on the stove. Bob's adding garlic and peppercorns into the jars. Thank you. And dill. That way we um, know how much is going into each jar instead of just putting it into brine. And we did yesterday, we got um, squash done off. Squash and zucchini frozen. And we made. 12 jars of the bread and butter pickles. It's my dad's favorite. 14 jars. 14 jars of the bread and butter pickles. And we're just going to keep at it today. We still have a whole bunch of cucumbers left over from the garden that still have to be done, but I didn't have room in my refrigerator to put any more hot. Uh, uh, sliced up cucumbers for dough pickles so we'll have to do these probably this afternoon and get them into the refrigerator and possibly can them tomorrow afternoon because they won't last until next weekend and then we have a whole bunch of zucchini still to slice up and we have a bucket a basket out into in the garage of both zucchini and squash that still have to be sliced up to put in the freezers so we're going to continue at it. <laughs> 